how to make a tripod dolly and a track on which the cameraman or the actor can walk easily. So for us to make a dolly what we need is actually a wooden plank. Literally any plank will do but you know uh, it's more like a 2 by 2 foot plank would be good. And now for, uh, for it to move on what we need are wheels. So the best wheel set combination that I recommend are actually skating wheels. Uh, so I bought a skating for around uh, 1600 bucks. That's like what, $20 maybe. So I took off the wheels and all. And these wheels will come along with bearings and the skating screws. And that's exactly is what we want. If you go with wheels independently, you got to buy all these separately. And now with wheels and bearings, uh, you, you need to have uh, an L bracket. So we are showing you an assembled version already. So what we used are wheels, bearings and screws and all and an L bracket which is fixed on at kind of uh, uh, 45 degrees maybe with respect to the plank and all. So you are supposed to use 4 L brackets and 8 wheels and the wheels and bearings and screws all these actually are directly from the skating. So what we brought are actually L brackets and the screws. So we plan them all on the plank and our dolly is ready. So this dolly, uh, let's just see how we can make a track now. So now this is the wheel setup I got from a skating wheel. So it had got a wheel bearings and the spaces. And now this is the screw from the skating itself. And now we fixed the L bracket already to the plank. So what we do, we keep this uh, screw and we keep the screw in here and just tighten it. So once we do this, our work is done. You can as well use some tools for this, the wrenches and tools, but uh, this is cool too, so let's just fix the other one and we are good to go. So what we used here, the screw and bolt directly came from the skating. We did not use any other custom screw and bolts and that's the best part of it. So now the bearings and spacings are in such a way that the wheels rotation is completely flexible, as you can see here. So once you fit it, what you got is this. Uh, so in short, you got two wheels. And any uh, pipe that is in between can possibly roll like this. The purpose of these two wheels is like you know they both are actually uh, 90 degrees spaced so that any pipe will fit in between. Let's just try uh, making a track for this. A track is very important because it makes sure that uh, the dolly goes on in desired path. So we are going to make a track with PVC pipes. You'd have seen uh, quite a lot of tracks in YouTube, but you know, we are planning tracks along with spacers. What I meant is uh, those sticks that keep the track at equidistance. So for tracks, we are using PVC pipes. These are 25 mm PVC pipes, lightweight. We can as well carry bigger PVC pipes, but uh, like, you know, 10 meters and all. But they are very tough to transport. So, you know, we prefer to cut these pipes maybe to 2 meters and all. And, you know, think of a way in which we can join. To join, you know, we take a small uh, PVC pipe set. We kind of break it up in the in, in, in one of the in the longitudinal way. So we take a PVC pipe and break it in the longitudinal way and just roll it up so that you know it goes in. What we have to do is this. So once we have this within the pipes and all, two pipes are joined together, and the joint is in between. And this joint is kind of invisible joint. It's kind of cool. So we can extend the 2 meter PVC pipe into like you know 2 meters into a number of pipes and all based on your need. And now let's see how we can make the spaces. So for track spaces and all what we use is plywood. So we cut the plywood into uh, this sort of strips. And now we got enough of these strips. Each of these strips acts as a plywood uh, like you know acts as a spacer. So our plan here is actually to use C cups, cut down the PVC pipes accordingly and then make C cups. So they look like this. So what we got is actually a half cut PVC pipe. And our plan here is uh, you know the track falls on the C cup something like this. Now there are other models of these cups as well. You, you don't have to use C cups, you can either use this 360 cup. But this is not good because the wheel bounces on this 360 cup and you go for it. But these are actually very good for the extremes where you know the wheel won't go beyond the extremes. So I prefer to use these for the extremes. And these sort of C cups for uh, anywhere in between. And let's just see the final track once. So now we place these spaces accordingly and we are keeping the tracks on the spaces as you see here. Something like this. So we got the tracks on the spaces. And now the tracks are rigid enough. 
Uh, our track is ready for the doggy. So, ah, our track is ready right now, and we are good to go. Last but not the least, make sure that the tripod legs are secured on the plank. For that, I have used some hot glue. And this glue is actually enough for uh, driving the dolly with the tripod. Just push the tripod, the dolly moves. The best part of the design is the cameraman or the actor can actually walk on the track. Here are some extra details on the project. Tools used are hot glue gun, hacksaw and a pencil blade. Cut the PVC pipes to make C cups and O cups. Make sure not to cut yourself. Attach the C cups on the plywood strips and the pipes are supposed to be placed roughly like this. To glue the O cups to the strips and all, uh, use a glue gun. Make sure to apply some glue from the side so that it had got some extra strength. Repeat the same for C cups, no rocket science. That's it for now.